going on guys? Welcome in. My name is Adam with OrlandoDrummer.com and today we're learning a really, really simple fill that you would use in uh, funk, fusion, even rock playing if you wanted to. Uh, this fill is a 16th note fill. Now remember when we learn a 16th note fill, the goal is just to get to 16 notes. Uh, when we look at it by the beat or groups of four, 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 and four, our fills end up sounding that way. So to sort of expand our 16th note fills, we need to look at different groups of notes or we need to get to the total of 16 by using different numbers. So in this case, we're using the number six, four, and six. And that's just to help us remember what groups of notes we're playing to get to 16. So our first group of six is right, left, left, right, left, left. Both of those right hands are gonna be accented. And remember, these can't have a swing. We're in 16th notes, so don't think triplets when you see two threes. So we will have right, left, left, right, left, left. Then we're on to our grouping of four. That's gonna be a kick, right, left, kick. And both of those right, lefts are gonna be accented. Our last grouping of six is right, left, right, left, left, kick. And that last kick drum will normally attach to the one or the very first kick drum that you're gonna have of your groove when you come back in. Let's just play this pattern with the accents on the snare drums. We're gonna try it at three different speeds. We're gonna play it at 65 BPM, 90 BPM, and 115 BPM. All right, guys, the linear pattern is feeling good. The next step is orchestration. Now, for my orchestration, I'm playing that six note grouping, right, left, left, right, left, left. The only thing I'm moving in that group are the right hand. So that very first right hand is going to a closed hi-hat. The second right hand is going to a snare drum accented. Uh, the four note grouping, kick, right, left, kick. Uh, just the right, left, those are both accented, and we're taking that right hand, putting it up on our rack tom, left hand accented on the snare. And in the last group of six, right, left, right, left, left, kick, that right hand is going on the floor tom as an accent. We have a ghost note on the snare drum. Then we'll have an accented right hand on a closed hi-hat, two ghost notes on the snare drum that completes that little five grouping, and then a kick makes it six, and we're done. Let's try this again at the same three tempos, 65, 90, and 115. We'll see how it sounds. All right, guys, the next thing I'm gonna do is just sort of improv or solo with this pattern. I'm not gonna be playing anything but the actual linear pattern that we just learned, but the point of this next exercise is for you to get some ideas of where this could go. Uh, the orchestration that we just learned is not the only one. There are hundreds of thousands of places where this could go, and this next section is just to give you guys some ideas.
Thanks so much for checking out this lesson, guys. If you're interested in more lessons, you can visit orlandodrummer.com, where there are dozens of lessons that are for sale starting at $1.99 each. They download straight to your mobile device or your computer. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them here in the comments section. You can always get a hold of me through Facebook at facebook.com slash the Orlando Drummer. This is the 646, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.